Welcome you today. Triff we're doing Upman Connie. I thought that was mine. Did it? It is too. Upman <laughs> Connie B's. He's already bounced it off the floor. Upman Connie B's. G O S. October 18. Released last year. Couldn't get been... anything younger. No. Terry, I'll look for some 19 stuff for you, but no. Connie B's. Hellishly popular. You haven't had one. Uh, not that I recall. Let's find out. You like the Connie A? Uh, yeah. Do you like the Sir Winston? Yes. Oh, oh, see? Yes. yes. Mm. Now, this is Connie B. I'm not going to say any more. B grade? <laughs> well, that, that, that brings an interesting question. From a marketing perspective, why would you put B on anything? Well, it's interesting. I was actually doing some stuff on uh, Partagas D4, and um, which will come up on the confessions soon. Okay. Originally, they had Partagas A, B, C, and D, one, two, three, four in each, and they had 16. Yeah. And this started in the 30s. Okay. By the 60s, they were all gone, um, including D4. It was only in the 70s they revived uh, D4, but none of the others. Then we get E's and F's now. <laughs> You'd be familiar with The spirit with of Habanos has been around for a long time. <laughs> Just <laughs> get rid of it. <laughs> Excellent. All right. <coughs> uh, what's your CI like, by the way? Oh, my drawer's good. A rainbow culvert, a, a tea like. Oh, no, more like a. a rodeo. Oh, well, rodeo's closer than tea. Yeah, rodeo. Yeah, like a yeah. gym bag. A gym bag at the rodeo. Mm, dirty socks. That's really weird in that I'm getting a real cucumber character. Cucumber? Very strange. The draw's fine, but it's a real. I hope the next flavour is Hendrix Gin. Actually, uh, <laughs> that's. Kenny, first third of this Connie B. Lovely. It's beyond lovely. Yeah, it's lovely. Really? Compare this to a A and a Winston. Well, the size. The sort of ring gauge immediately for me just takes it away from everything else. And so I don't sit here thinking of comparing so much. No, flavour wise. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean, but I don't it's not tend that. to think of that way. No. Um, but look, this is, uh, it's a very soft, sort of velvety, um, it's a bit under medium for me. Um, there's a bit of nuts, a bit sort of um, milk chocolate, a bit of cream. Nuts, milk yeah. chocolate, cream, a little bit of coffee, a little bit of sponge cake, it's a little bit of... Yeah. No more cucumber. It's certainly up. I mean, it's, it's yeah, got I mean, it, is, it is. They've done a great job with this cigar. Yeah. Yeah, look, the, it is. The bay is an excellent cigar. Yeah. Um, I'd like it to have a little bit more punch to it, but... Whew, what I like about the, the whole Connoisseur line is... The A, the Connoisseur 1, the B, uh, there's, a, there's an evolution mm. there. You know, I mean, I'm a huge lover of the uh, Connie 1s um, because they're inexpensive, they really let you down, they age beautifully. But it's got the same coffee and cake and sponge that this cigar here does. This is just a, a class above that, mm. uh, especially at such a young age. Beautiful yeah, look, I mean, there's no age issues at all. Yeah. Um, mm. Lovely start. Back to your shot, though. Kenny, second, third, before it starts raining, but um, yeah. this has got better. Lovely cigar. Just, it really is just that lovely... Honey, a little cuddly. bit. This is some sweetness, yeah, yeah, some honey, honey cream. Well, it's that sort of milk chocolatey, sort of slightly sweet milk chocolatey character. Um, and almost peaches and cream. This is so much better than so many LEs that we've oh. been seeing. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know? I mean, I'm, I like the LEs and stuff, but, uh, um, yeah, but I, I had a very good one the other day, one of the 04, Hoyer 04s, which was, was lovely. Yeah. Um, but... Uh, That's absolutely cracker. I, I, I wouldn't necessarily put it any head, ahead of this. No? Ooh. That had a Cohiba band on it. Are you saying you think there's DNA of Cuba or well, uh, Cohiba? There's, there's DNA of Cohiba in that. That that honey, that Qual le, quality, that, quality, the quality, yeah, that, that little yeah. bit of lemongrass. There's a little bit of honey, honey cream in there. The honey cream, yeah, the peaches and cream sort of carry it to me, but um, yeah, I think it's so far so good, guys. 
second largest bands in the history of mankind. Yeah. Way too many bands. Great cigar. <laughs> Seriously? Way too many bands. We'll be back to you at the end of the last thing. Forrest died for these. Last third of the Connie B. H up and Connie B. Yeah, the only problem I've got is is wrappings starting to come unraveled a bit and uh, <laughs> the burn. That's not the only problem you've got, Ken. No, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Don't start. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Wrappers coming a little bit apart, but you know, well, when you say a little bit, I'm holding it together. Um, yeah, that's the way you cut it, the way you light it. It was, nice. wasn't the cutting so much. It was the uh, uh, I used a punch, not a cutter. Um, but yeah, the burn. But I mean, because we've been yakking away, I haven't been concentrating perhaps as much as I should have if I'd just been sitting smoking the thing by myself. Um, but other than that, I, it's glorious. It, it started to go more dark chocolate, yeah. and then there was a little bit of chilli. Um, you said that? Yeah. Which, which is sort of a bit of a surprise. So it's had certainly different stuff come through. It's not as though it's now, been the same all through. So where I think, did I say October 18? Um, imagine this in two or three years' time. Yeah. I mean, really? You'd have to put these down too long. Six months? Well, now. What's wrong with it now? You don't. Yeah, yeah. now. Just dry box it. Have fine. you smoked many of these? Oh, a dozen, I suppose, yeah. All this Yeah, they are. They are. Yeah. It's a really good addition to the Havanos lineup. This it is. Cigar. We don't often say that. No, no we do true. say it, but we don't. A lot of times we say, really? Mm. This is a really good addition. So, which six did they cut to bring this in? <laughs> Sorry, just... No, no, um, and there's plenty of these around, like even in Havana, especially if you get a chance to go to Havana and pick up a box of these, do so, because they're, they're available in Havana and they're fairly cheap. So, in Havana, not anywhere else in the world. Nowhere in the world we actually pay on tobacco away are they cheap, because they're, they're a decent sized cigar. Yeah. If you can, if you can get a, a good deal on them, do pick these up, because I'm putting this at 93. Um, yeah, certainly 93. 93. I was saying 93, 94. Yeah. Um, and it's been one of the better cigars I've had this year. Um, Very good cigar. Just really good cigar. Nice complexity. Really approachable. The, the size, I know that puts some people off, and I'm not a great fan of the huge fat ones. You know me, I'm not either. Yeah. But you can't argue with this one. You can't argue with the flavour. You can't argue with the complexity. Um, good. Really, really good. Great yeah. afternoon, Ken. Yeah. Yeah. World's yeah. problems all solved again. All solved. Yeah. Until next week. Last day of Take care. Welcome to FOH. Ken just removed the plant. He's so killing it. He's <laughs> killing the weed. <laughs> hey, it's a little bit there. It's chilly. But he, yeah, seriously. It's like the Adams family. Yeah? yeah? They all propagate dead plants. Sorry. It's alive and it's producing. It's what? Producing what, Ken? I'll I'll take a photo of it. Serious. I'll take a photo of it. I've just harvested. It. I've got it inside. Harvested. What'd you get? What is that thing? It's a habaneros chili plant. I'll take a photo. I'll post it up for you. Good. Your feet swollen. I have big feet. Freaking huge. <laughs> well, there goes the family side of the show. Oh, my God. I've got 12 triple E's. Well, the FOH with the crusty the clown this week. <laughs> And his sidekick, sideshow Bob. <laughs> I will get back to you at the end of the first. Don't day. bet on it. Oh Jesus! I can't believe this is going on this long. Could you check the draw, Kenny? Um, we haven't got to the first third yet, but Kenny's brought out some some turpentine in the glass. Yeah. Why is it clear liquid? Here it is. Our daily tastings with tarmac for taste buds. Well, what is it? Well, you tell me what you think. Um, it's clear. It's clear. Yes. Aroma is minerally. Are you getting what, what, what aromas are you getting? That's the first. I can't oh, drink that. Absolutely. I can't drink that. Absolutely. Why? I can't drink it. It's, I don't like it. Well, it's it's actually more for cocktails, I think, than uh, well, what it is. Oh, it's not my fault. But that's the first time I've actually ever tried it, and I, it's 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 really interesting to try because it is what it sort of says. Think of breakfast. I don't eat breakfast. Well, think of other people's breakfast, and it's not muesli. 
can. It Think has... of Vegemite on toast and see see if it reminds you of that. No, I like Vegemite on toast. Well, I don't, but I actually like this. Um, what is it? It's got an, that umami character. It's it's ideal for making things like Bloody Mary. I'll bring it out and show you. Press pause. So, Ken, what are we... <laughs> Ken's just telling me it's not meant to be drunk straight. No, it's a, it's a mixer, but you try it first to see what you... It's a yeast extract. It's Archimite. It's basically, um, for those of you who love Vegemite, and I must confess I'm not a Vegemite person at all, but the idea of this is to get that sort of character into a spirit and then put it into something like a Bloody Mary or so forth. It's from, it's from Archie oh, Rose. Right. <laughs> Uh, who are more known for their gins, and if you ever get to try it, they made a fantastic rum. Only 180 bottles, so good luck, um, but it is fantastic. Um, Alright, Archie might. Thank you for bringing that out and making me taste it. <laughs> Keep it up, because that'll be all you'll get today. <laughs> can, we have some, can we have some wine, please? Be back shortly. Kenny, first third of this Connie B. Lovely. It's beyond lovely. Yeah, it's lovely. Oh, you mean, yeah. um, why is it I always, but you know, aren't okay. I supposed to be the, the beneficiary when you, when of your you're, wisdom? When you're doing wine writing, yes. like, do you ever just put lovely and just submit it? If they pay me. <laughs> 